If you've pre-ordered EA Sports FC, you'll be getting 4,600 FIFA points for free. However, nice. if you spend these FIFA points incorrectly, it could completely ruin your EA Sports FC account. So in this video, I'll be telling you how to correctly spend 4,600 FIFA points to make sure that you get the best start in EA Sports FC. And if you want to build the best team possible in FIFA 23, make sure to go and buy some coins from Mule Factory. Use that code LE5G. Now, just before we go any further, they're not called FIFA points anymore. They're called FC points. If you don't know what FC points are, they're basically an in-game currency that will allow you to go and buy things like packs. And it'll also allow you to enter something called the draft, which is a game mode in Ultimate Team. Now, the first option that you've got with these FC points is to just go and open some packs. If you go and do that, it's not a bad show and you'll be able to to get yourself around 30 premium gold packs. These are the most basic version of packs in Ultimate Team and you can go and open as many as you want to and whoever you get in those packs you can sell on for coins which can then be spent on things like the transfer market, squad building challenges and a whole host of other places. If you're someone who isn't the best at the game I would recommend this to be an option. You can literally just come on, open a lot of packs, sell the contents of the pack and just move on with your life. A lot of people do ask should I keep players that I get in the packs or sell them on because they seem to think that they're going to go up, they're going to go down and I'll be honest, don't worry about that. For me, I always recommend people to sell these cards on. Now, I've been trading in FIFA for probably around seven or eight years now. Every single year, unless I've been making a video, I have never spent money on FIFA and this was my team from FIFA 23. It's pretty decent and it's really easy to enjoy this game without spending money on packs So if you're getting cards in these packs What I would personally recommend to do is just sell them on get rid of them The main reason being that the early times in EA Sports FC are going to be a really crucial time for building squads Playing games and just making the most out of the game and just having another area to worry about Where is this player going for the best price it can be should I sell it on now should I do this should I do that I just can't be bothered doing that. So what I would recommend to do if you're taking this as the first option is to just sell it on as quickly as possible and keep the coins. What you do with those coins is a completely different topic. So if you want to see a video talking on how to correctly start EA Sports FC, get this video to over 500 likes in the next 24 hours and I'll get it out next week. Moving into option two, it's going to be talking about draft. Now the draft is a game mode in Ultimate Team where you go on and you can draft a team in there. You'll get some of the best players in Ultimate Team. This isn't link to your normal game account it doesn't really matter too much you can go on build a team play the game mode back out and you keep your normal squad as you play games depending on where you finish in the draft you'll get better rewards for example if you lose in the first round you'll probably get a silver pack and a gold pack however if you win the draft you could get something like a 50k pack which at the start of the game would be incredible now there is a bit of a downside with taking this option because if you're not good at gameplay you are going to get absolutely spanked because everyone's going to be taking this option if they're a div 1 div 2 player foot champions player they're all going to be going into the draft and there's going to be a lot of competition in the draft now i would recommend to at least give this option a try and maybe you'll win the draft and maybe you'll be able to get some coins but if you're someone who doesn't play the game too much maybe you play a few hours maybe a few times a week just go and open some packs because the time that you spend within this draft will massively outweigh the time that you could be spending on SBCs, the transfer market, on gameplay, grinding out division rivals, foot champions because if you take this option, you'll be able to enter the draft a total of 15 times and with every single game being roughly about 20 minutes in length, give or take, you're going to be playing a lot of FIFA. However, if you do take the draft option, there is a much simpler option that you could take and it is very time consuming but but it's actually a very good shout. So there's something called the offline draft, which is basically like the single player version of draft. It's the exact same, but the rewards aren't as good. But one thing that a lot of people do forget is that depending on the difficulty that you play, the rewards will be the exact same. So for example, if you play on beginner and then you play on ultimate, the rewards themselves will be the exact same. The only thing that's different between these two things is on ultimate, you'll get a higher match coin bonus, which is the amount of coins that you get every time that you play a game. So on beginner, you'll probably get around 200, 300 coins. On ultimate, you'll probably get around 800 coins. But again, with the amount that you'll be playing, it's just not worth it. I don't want to sit and grind out ultimate <laughs> with FIFA points. Like, no, I'm not. I, I can't do that to myself. But one thing you can do in this offline game mode is actually combine it with objectives. Now, objectives are something which will be coming back for FC24. And objectives are something that you can complete. And you basically, say for example, there's an objective, score 10 finesse goals. If you do that, you'll get yourself a two-player pack. 
you get the point. So one thing that you can actually do is combine objectives that you need to get done with the single player draft and you can get all of that completed and get a ton of packs. Don't get me wrong, it will be a grind and it will be pretty boring, but the safest option is this option too of just going through and doing single player draft. But if you do this, you will be bored, but you will get really good packs at the end of it. So if you're someone who enjoys grinding out games, I'm one of those people, I would probably recommend to do this. However, I would actually recommend to do option three. Now option three is gonna be a mix of both. Now like I said earlier, if you take option one, you'll get 30 packs. If you take option two, you'll get 15 drafts. What I would actually recommend to do is to split the pair of them down the middle and go and open 15 packs of 7.5K packs. This will give you a number of coins that you'll need to go and complete different things and you may even get a good player you can sell on for a huge profit. It will also give you seven entries into the draft. So what you could do is you could go for three times in the online draft and you could go for four times in single player draft. In the online draft, you go on and it doesn't really matter if you win or lose because you know that you've already spent the points in different areas and you're not putting all your eggs into one basket. And whilst you're completing this online draft, there is the tiny, tiny chance that you could get through to the final and you could do something amazing and you could pack a really good player. But don't forget, you've also opened your 15 packs. You've maybe got to the final maybe once or twice and you've got packs from that. And then with the remaining draft entries that you've got, I would then recommend to go into the single player draft and combine it with the objectives grind because again there's a ton of objectives that you're going to be able to do from playing the beta I've already seen some of the objectives that we've got and they are very similar to that of FIFA 23 you'll be able to get packs for doing this so it could be a case of jump in the single player draft grind it out as much as possible and make a note somewhere on a notepad or maybe on your phone or something of objectives that you need to do and just use this time as objectives grinding time because when you get to the final you're still going to get the packs from the single player draft so you will constantly be doubling up on what you're doing you could go and do all those objectives in squad battles but single player draft in my opinion is probably better for a bit of a quick fix and if you do everything that I've spoken about in this video you will be able to get yourself a ton of free packs a ton of coins and you'll be able to get one of the best starts in EA Sports FC with these coins you can then go into squad building challenges complete the advanced SBCs you can also go onto the transfer market and start to do some trading videos coming soon but it really is limitless what you'll be able to do with all these coins and all of these packs and I'll be honest if you take up Option three, that is the best way to spend 4,600 FIFA points. But if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and go and watch another one about EA Sports FC. If you've enjoyed this video, you'll absolutely love it. Oosh.